Well, hello everyone. Hello. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm, I'm I'm working on it. I'm slowly uh, <laughs> trying to trying to learn the ways here of how to uh, not drop a GoPro hard. <laughs> now, now you're not even in frame. But my heart's in the right place. Uh, so great, we recently watched uh, Loki. We did, we did. Um, in fact, we both watched uh, Loki, and then the next night we watched uh, Black Widow, which I feel like is actually is kind of an interesting uh, kind of uh, uh, showing of you know one doing th one thing right and one thing not doing it as well. Okay. Um, but before we get too far into this, I want to make sure that uh, you guys know what you're here for. Um, this is Day Tripper Hobbs, where uh, you guys go on awesome day trips with me, road trips all around. We go see random things and we talk about some random things as well. Uh, I've got with me my brother, the winner. Uh, What's and, up? Uh, you know, he's from far away lands, but he's here with me for a couple days. So we're going to do some quick hot takes on them, some things as we are driving back home. Uh, so if you guys like what you're seeing, uh, make sure you do all the, the cool YouTube stuff. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, and then, you know, also smoke signal it to your friends uh, so that they can also watch this magicalness, uh, which is true, good times, true. you know? I, I think it's pretty good. Okay. Anywho, um, so, um, myself, I kind of have some issues with the way that Marvel does time travel. Mm. I think that uh, time okay. travel, um, and honestly, uh, magic or any uh, other, like, fantastical things uh, generally need to serve the plot itself rather mm. than just being like something that's in the plot it uh, it needs to have interesting things that make it harder and interesting things that make it a little easier maybe sometimes but the hard things are what makes it interesting mm. um, the problem is like Endgame decided what it was not definitely mm. and then they kind of soft told you what it was kind of sort of um, but also like they decided there's no repercussions for anything so we can do whatever we want to uh, which takes out the interesting things I would say I, this is not going to be a hot take about Endgame, but uh, I would say the problem with Endgame is that uh, time travel was not part of the problem. It was just a fun thing that they were doing. Um, like, yeah, I think okay. that like going to the Battle of New York uh, would have been more fun rather than like go to the end of the Battle of New York, which is you know not the part that you're looking to get to when you're time traveling. You want to go to the fun stuff. Maybe like even if they just say like you can't run into yourself. Like, mm. that thing from uh, Back to the Future was actually kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, because you have to, like, try to avoid people. Like, there's a, a rule in place. The rules make it interesting. And when there's very soft rules, it's just like, I don't know, we're creating a new alternate dimension type thing. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter what happens in this because, you know, eventually, theoretically, we'll bring back everything. Not as well explained as it could be. Yeah. Um, like, the variants... There are variants, uh, and I guess it's from the multiverse. Like, I felt like if they explained that, like, yes, uh, multiverses bring out different things rather than just... They, they don't explain very well um, multiverse versus timeline, um, which they should because they are different things. Yeah. Uh, they could have... You can have different timelines on a different uh, multiverse. But since... I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, we're, we're doing both things soon. Like, mm. they're going to be doing multiverse things, uh, but they've been doing time travel. And I think that... Well, they're honestly, starting to use them both interchangeably. Yeah, well, in Endgame, not. it actually was dimension, like it was timeline travel, where it's yeah. like we're actually going to a different timeline now. That's it's sort of alluded to by like uh, the Ancient One in mm -hmm. Endgame. The problem is like when they talk about what time travel is, they do this. They do a superbly bad job. Yes, it is insanely a bad job of describing time travel, and the fact that you have to watch other things, kind of the same thing with Loki as well. Is that you, the fact that I have to watch other things to explain what they mean? means that they did a bad job of explaining in the first place. Exactly. Like, you shouldn't have to go through and watch other things to make it make sense. Yeah. I'm sorry, I love Star Wars to death, but, like, the fact that we had to have Clone Wars to make the prequels uh, much better, yeah. like, was a failing of the movies. And that's Absolutely. the same thing with this. Like, we, we shouldn't have to, like, have somebody explain it to us after the fact. Hmm. It should just be the storytelling is better, especially since this is, like, central to the storytelling. This is, like, pivotal to everything you're trying to do. Like, I think that it's uh, Yeah, it's if, you, if you've seen Loki, I feel like you uh, you understand. But, oh, yeah, uh, by the way, super spoilers on all this. Yeah, they spend more time in the 
in the TVA with Loki. I think that I would have some more time for like procedural. They go pretty fast and I don't really know what the TVA is capable of as far as like, you know, if I'm with the cops, I need to like the time cops, I need to know like what is the, yeah. what is the capability? Like you know, if this happens, what would we do? If this happens, what would we do? I realize we're going fast. Um, yeah. I'd say one of the general problems look is they go a little bit too fast. Well, and I, I think cover that, a lot of ground. Um, I mean, we were talking about it yesterday. One of the, the big things with it is just like they could have explained the rules of the world and also what variants are and how they work. Um, That's true. One of the, the cool things that could have happened is that uh, maybe like, okay, we can't find uh, Sylvie at all. Uh, and that's just like, we don't know where she is, uh, but we've got another Loki that's come up on uh, the screen. Um, you know, we need to test your loyalty or whatever. And just like, mm. we need your help to take down Kid Loki. Um, and so, you know, it ties into later on in the series. Um, yeah. And like, we go and we take down Loki, which gives us some time to explain like, okay, this is what a variant is. Like, how does this happen? Like, is this a multiverse thing? Is this a timeline mm. thing? Uh, what, was this just because somebody made a different choice than they were supposed to? Like, how does this happen? Um, Loki could have been us in that situation and asked them. Um, yeah. And that, that could have been a little bit better. I well, think. I think I ought to take it a different way if they had done, like, a, maybe like a variant Cap, but Cap is evil. Oh, yeah. Or something, see, and he'd be like, true. oh, well, where did he split off? And they could be like, oh, well, Cap did this instead of good thing. Yeah. This guy sucks. Ooh. We should, like, we should prune him. And then it's like, we kind of have some answers about how it works. We can see the TVA from their perspective where they are good guys. Yeah. I feel like that would have been cool. So you um, kind of be like, oh yeah, obviously the TV are good because we stopped. I don't know, like if uh, if they like had picked someone else as Captain America, or even if uh, if if Schmidt, I forget, yeah, uh, the Red Skull. Like if he had been Captain America instead, like he had won the war. Now we were like, we can all agree, like that guy sucks. We don't want that guy to keep to be around. We're okay that he gets pruned. Yeah. And that, yeah, kind of introduce the idea. We're on their side. We see through their perspective, and then it's like, oh, we have this other one though. Yeah, and I feel like actually that might have like because um, they they start kind of setting up a little bit that Loki is like you know he's not completely with them, but he's with them. Um, it feels like he kind of buys in at, at the the end of the procedural part, kind of almost. Yeah. Um, but they don't really um, go into it. Um, I think that. One of the things that you were mentioning yesterday mm. was that um, the part of the problem with the, the show is that Loki doesn't feel like Loki. Um, one yeah. of the, the good things about Black Widow is that like they don't try to make her like a jokey, uh, like different person. Like she's just let's get down to business. We're gonna do mm. this. Um, but Loki is just like generic protagonist. Um, you know, he's just a, a fun, charming guy. And I feel like, yeah, like, you, you were saying that, like, you know, they take away the fact that he is, um, you know, he's scheming, he's plotting. And just because he watched a video of him uh, getting character growth does not mean that he would get the character growth. And uh, yeah. that, that journey could have been a little bit more interesting. Or just, like, they, they could have given him opportunities to be scheming and, like, do, like, things that are Loki-ish rather than just be like, uh, anybody could have been in this spot. So, uh, you know, I think you're going to have to balance that both sides. And honestly, I feel like the one of the reasons why I have a hard time with Loki and Loki, the show Loki, um, is because I feel like his his personific, his pers characterization, there we go, his characterization's kind of all over the place in different movies. Yeah. yeah and I, I generally, I don't know, I, I like Loki. Um, I think maybe for me it's more the fact that I don't fully know what he's doing. Like Thor 1... I don't super know what he's doing. I actually feel like the, the characterization of Loki in Thor 2 is pretty good. Yeah. Because you kind of get more of the mindset of, like, what does he want? He doesn't really know what he wants. And, like, he, he likes his mom, but, like, he also has some anger issues. This has, like, very good potential to, like, give him to, uh, things to do that he is good at. Um, because a lot of the problem is um, with the, the show, I think, is that Loki doesn't always get to be very proactive just kind of goes with what is going on around him. Yeah, um, yeah that's true. Everyone he, else has ideas. And he's like, oh, I'll join. He doesn't really move along the plot himself. The TVA is you know? trying to find a Loki. I'm the, in. The TVA is moving Sylvie's along. Gonna Sylvie's going to take down the TVA. Along. All right, let's do it. And I, I'm okay with like him just being there to you know support Sylvie, but at the same time, like he is the title character. He should at least move the plot along sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, another thing that uh, you brought up yesterday that I liked uh, was that, you know, just tone promises like um, that the show promised um, at the very very beginning that it was going to be procedural cop show almost and yeah. they were going to work on taking this down and you know 
Sure. Sometimes it makes sense to like have some twists and be like, all right, the rules are going to change. This is what's going to happen. But they did it three or four times in this uh, six episode series. Um, yeah. Which is just too much for this few of episodes. I, I think that like, because they've got procedural dramas and then they had uh, On the Run from the Cops uh, and then they had... Um, I would, they I, they like I would circle say, back around to fight the cops then they, and then they like go to like never ending story for a little bit. Yeah. They, they, uh, they go to the weird place, the, the weird talking wolf. Um, yeah, they, they go to the void for a little bit and then they have uh, info dump time. Um, because honestly, yeah. that's what the, the thing at the end of the world was. Just like, you know, they, they could have told us that earlier, rather, and sh or shown us little bits and pieces of it, rather than just like, all right, let me tell you my evil plan. Um, and just all of the details you might not know. I'm going to kind of show you with a little scul sculpture thing, but... Yeah, just a lot of it is like, you kind of have to like know what's going on. Yeah. Well, and I don't know, I would just like to see a little bit... I mean, I would like to know a little bit more about what makes something on the sacred timeline. Is it... Uh, that uh, we don't get uh, uh, the other he who remains is, is the kings um, out into the world. Is that like the main goal, or is there like, big spoilers now? Yeah, there's big spoilers. Um, but I yeah, I don't know. I guess it's like as long as the timeline will lead directly to uh, the R K being created, R he who remains. I guess that's all good. And so as long as it doesn't change that variance too much, it's fine. Which is interesting that, like, because the only person we ran into in the void was Loki, which I think was dumb. I think they missed out on a lot of opportunities there. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, I guess is, it's because we, we already have that I feel actor like on each, retainer. Each of the sections, I feel like they should have had, you know, maybe even each section be a, um, a season. Um, yeah, totally. Or at least a couple more episodes, because you could explore each of those ones a lot better and have them last a lot more longer and be better. Mm. I think the, the last section, the info dump, maybe it doesn't need to be super long. I would say it could be shorter. I mean, it could be longer, but it was really just, you know, you guys spend a lot of time, you get to a castle, and, you know, you talk. I mean, really, like, the void probably could have just been dumped altogether. It was interesting, and I like seeing the variants, especially old Loki. I felt like old Loki was actually a really good uh, character thing, so mm. that Loki could see what he could have become. Um, you know, just like to get some introversion from himself. I felt like that was interesting. I liked him a lot. Yeah, um, like he could easily just have been like, yeah, like he is our Loki if he just hadn't died. If he's like, oh, I faked you out and I didn't die and I just like left. And like it, he still wouldn't have been that fulfilled. So like actually seeing that Loki, uh, seeing that Loki die was actually like more of a, I felt that one more. Also, I'm sorry, but like, um, once, I, I actually think the, the Void thing should have just been cut altogether, just because yeah. it had a lot of problems, because A, you killed off a couple characters, you just straight killed them all, uh, and then just be like, oh yeah, death doesn't matter, death's not real. Uh, because then in the Void, it actually doesn't feel like it's a, a big problem. Like, yeah, maybe there's another level down, we don't know Yeah, you can, you can get killed again. Who knows? Just, we yeah, don't know. like, can um, I get pruned twice and I have to go to a different area when I get eaten by the, the cloud bear? Yeah, and also the big cloud bear. I mean, honestly, like, it was just a generic bad guy. It was, it looked cool, and it, it felt right, but it didn't really fit into the story all that well. It was just um, something to be overcome really quickly, like, yeah. in the space of an episode. Like, it introduced and, you know, taken away in the space of an episode. I think it was an episode that was... Yeah, it was like yeah, he went to he went to the, the thing at the end of time, that whole area, and then they beat the bear by the end of the next one. Yeah, and also Space like the cloud. you know, uh, establishing sometimes the, the Loki show is really good at characterization and feeling the uh, the feel of something. And mm, getting okay. the, the, yeah. the feel for something. Like they they knocked it out of the park on that. But some of like the little homework, the little background work to make things make more sense, they just didn't do a lot of the times, um, which incidentally would lead into my Doctor Who rant because they ain't never do that. They just live on hype. They don't deal on you know background work or repercussions. Um, anywho, um, I feel like you know the the Sylvie being able to get into the mind of the smoke giant, um, like we didn't never really, really go anywhere. It, we it didn't well, learn anything. It wasn't really built up about it, and it's just like, yeah, and also the you know you're a Loki, so you should be able to do this too. I 
guess. Uh, it just felt like a, you just need to believe harder. You need to, you need to want it more. I don't know, just like, clap your hands for Tinkerbell, this will work, dang it. Um, yeah, basically. I, I felt weird to me. Like, yeah, anytime a plot point is like, well, how are they gonna do it differently? I'm always reminded of Troll 2, where they're like, <laughs> It's not working that we're touching the the scale model of uh, Stonehenge. <laughs> that it's, it's not destroying the goblins. And so the kid says, concentrate harder. And then that does work. And that's basically what happens in, uh, in Loki. They're like, oh, we can't do it. And she's like, no, you can if you believe or something. Like, it, it's, it's not exactly that line, but it's basically that line. Yeah. And then they believe harder and then they do beat the smoke creature. And that's yeah. it. I, I feel like taking that out would have made things a little better. Maybe even having the, you know, I don't know. I, I really like the stuff um, with the, the escaping from the cops thing. Um, but it, I think it might have happened a little early. Um, yeah, I feel like honestly the whole arc should be like, hey, um, like, hey, I'm with the cops. Oh, I'm not with the cops. Now armed with new knowledge, I am back to like face that the head of the organization. And yeah. so then, like, that's kind of why I have, like, episode four. If you just take out Loki being pruned, and being pruned just means you die. You know, and honestly, the, the being Nothing pruned... would change. Instead of going to the timekeepers, you instead go straight to He Who Remains. Yeah. It's the same show. Honestly, all it was was uh, just a, a cliffhanger moment, so you watch the next episode. It was just, like, yeah. one of those, what moments. They go into, like, a whole different world that has, like, a whole different setup. Like, you can't give me one episode of that, they, man. They really just wanted to have an episode end with Loki dying and then waking up next to some other uh, Lokis. Just to be... I think that was mostly what it was all for. It was yeah. not because it helped the plot along that much. They did not explain you why there's Lokis, an alligator Loki. It's fine. Like, I'm okay with alligator Loki. Um, I really, like, I saw a meme that uh, had Odin say, I'm sorry, my son, you're adopted, and, like, Alligator Loki crying. Um, I thought that was funny. But, uh, like, sure, Alligator Loki, why not? But I feel like he just needs to be in a better spot. <sighs> I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I, I enjoyed the show. I feel like the, the new Marvel shows have been doing great. Though, I will say, and everyone's going to uh, murder me for this, but I think WandaVision could have been shorter. I like the sitcom thing, but, like... Information-wise, um, the the twist was not that great. Like the twist, like it was Wanda the whole time. Duh, it was Wanda. Yeah. We all knew that episode one. Um, of course, it's Wanda and her dealing with grief. That's fine. Um, I would actually, I would argue, make it longer. Okay. I, I would say that. like one episode longer because for me, I love the show. I love the sitcom stuff. The so sitcom it's, stuff it's was fun. Great. I like that. that um, my problem is the fact that like I feel like they rushed the ending. Yeah, they did. They, they, they definitely did. Also, uh, I'm sorry, Marvel, you're cowards. You're cowards just by being like, oh, no, um, this Quicksilver's not the, the X-Men Quicksilver. He's, he's just a normal dude. You're cowards. You're going into multiverse stuff. Just say he's from another dimension and bring yeah. it all in. Let's do it. Let's just freaking it do all it. In. They had it there in their hands. I'm just saying, you guys don't have to do uh, the origin stories of everything. You can just be like, yeah, nope. Everything that uh, that Fox did with the X Men series, as much as it doesn't make sense, it all happened. It's a thing. Yeah, like, multiverse man. Except like, for yeah, maybe X Three, that didn't happen. There's a but... dimension where the X Men exist. Yep. Let's move on. And like, maybe I'm it's, in. Maybe it's I'm multiple there. dimensions, and that actually would help explain <laughs> the, the discrepancies. In Each the X timeline. sequel is a different timeline where it's it's most it's, kind it's of... similar, not quite the same. Pulling it back though, uh, Loki, Loki was okay. Yeah, it I had would... some good bits. I agree, the characterization is good. I think the world building is there, but it's not explained well. No, it's it's. I feel like the world building is where they kind of drop the ball. Um, they did some good stuff, and mm -hmm. like the uh, yeah, the characterization and tone for each of their spots was really good. Like I, I got the really cool '70s vibe. I got the mm -hmm. you know the the mystery feel. Like the feel was there. It just yeah. the details. Um, on the other hand, I would say uh, Black Widow was a better movie than Loki was a show. Um, yeah. They explained most things-ish, and sometimes they just, you know, some things, you know, weren't explained, but it was fine. And yeah. It could have been better. I mean, I'm sorry, but like, you know, having to just like bang your head on the desk was kind of dumb. I would say actually the spoilers, lots of spoilers, but I'd say the first uh, third of the movie was actually really bad. 
mean, not really bad, but not great of Black Widow because uh, it was just action scenes for the point of action scenes. Where, like, yeah, they, the fact that they put off a lot of the world building and ex, like the exposition to like the end of the movie. So like by the end, I understood everything. Yeah, they, they but, should have like had the, the Red Room exposition last a little longer rather than just be like a, yeah. a little scene and then just like, I don't know, stuff during the, the opening credits. Like, I didn't understand what's going on with the Christmas pictures and all that crap. Like, I was very, very confused about life. Uh, but yeah, like, in in general, know, like, I feel like they, they did good things. They though. did some really good things. It, it was a, a solid movie, I think. Hmm. I think the after credits was dumb. Um, the after credits was terrible. I actually don't like what's her face in the MCU so far. Like Julia Louise Dreyfus. Yeah, and I respect I I like a lot of the things she does. Like I don't it's not her. It's just her character just feels out of place. Has she been in other stuff? Yeah, she was in uh, the uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Okay. I've I've only seen the first episode. What? Okay. I did well she's in it. Um I, I, she's it's like straight action, which is like cool. It's not super my I, I preferred WandaVision way more over Okay, it's fair. And Falcon it's, Vision. I, um, I don't know. It, it grows on you. There's this, it, uh, a lot of it's actually not that, there's, there's a lot of action, there's a lot not action-y. Okay. But it does make me actually, uh, care about those two characters more. Like, I actually give a crap about them slightly yeah. more than I did. Because during Civil War, aka Bucky War, um, like, I, uh, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, dude. Mm -hmm. Tony wants you to put this guy, lock this guy up, and give him treatment. Uh, at the end of the movie, you lock him up and give him treatment. Uh, we could have done this without a Civil War thing happening. Um, yeah. I'm just saying, comics was better. Having it be over the ideal thing, I mean, the, the ideals of the Accord thing, that would make it more interesting. Yeah, because it's not really about the Accords. It kind of is. Not super... I don't know. I'm just saying it was. Also, much, if I was Tony, I think there were some makes... more powerful things in the comics. I mean, yeah, like cloning. Okay, it was weird when they cloned Thor and had him uh, kill somebody. Um, that that was a bit much, but it was an interesting turning point. And also, Spider-Man unmasking on live TV. Um, that was That's, powerful. Yeah. That was some powerful crowd. And then just like the end of it, you know, like. Um, because the end, the end of this one's not like it's just like they, they kind of walk off and they, they don't work together anymore but like at the end of the, the comic Civil War uh, like Cap is like bashing in Tony's head with the shield and like New York is burning around them and he just like stops for a second he's like just about to like finish off Tony's and he's like you don't know no. what have we done like what are we doing here like yeah. we just destroyed New York like no you're not arresting Captain America you're arresting Steve Rogers. Uh, stand out, everybody. Like, they were winning. Um, yeah. And then Cap gets shot on the way of his trial. Yeah, it was a good ending. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It really is the right. I, I love Cap in the comics more. Yeah. Movie Cap, he's, he's kind of cool. He's, he's an alright guy. Figure, but, like, but like, man. He's not, like, the heart of the team. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Anyway, we're arriving at our destination. And uh, so we, we don't have an outing for you right now for this video to add on to here, which I also wanted to, I wanted to at least talk about uh, my feelings on Loki, and I, I took Winter along for the ride, because um, we've been talking about it for a bit. Uh, but as always, uh, thank you all for joining us for this magical mystery tour of a video, and uh, for continuing to watch the videos. Uh, make sure, honestly, if you uh, haven't uh, you know done all the YouTube stuff that you do, uh, it gives me gratification and I make more videos that way. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good. I appreciate you guys watching this and, uh, we will see you all later. Like, script, comment, subscribe, send smoke signals, all the things. We'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> that was weird. Did it stop? I'm not sure if it stopped. No, it's the bottom. It's the top one. Oh. The one on the bottom there. Yeah.